My name is Taylor Mason and I will be presenting Abolish the Kids Table. My aunt's grandfather clock strikes five, signaling it is time for Christmas dinner. The formal dining room is decked out with beautiful garland and an extravagant gold tablecloth. Each place setting is made with the finest china, the silverware shine by hand. My relatives fix their plates and take their designated seats in the modern equivalent of the Palace of Versailles. I saunter in behind them, only to be abruptly turned away and sent to every teen's Christmas nightmare. The kids' table. I trudge down the steps of the basement to see a few flimsy card tables with cheap paper tablecloths and folding chairs. As I begin to eat my food, I wonder why I cannot sit with the adults, even if I have so much to say. Children and teenagers deserve to have a seat at the grown-ups table because of their innate advocacy for positivity and inclusivity, qualities our world desperately demands. At eight years old, Mari Kopany wrote a letter to then President Barack Obama, encouraging him to visit her town of Flint, Michigan. Since the switch of its source in 2014, Flint's water has been contaminated with lead. The residents cannot even drink a glass of tap water without risking their health. Safe drinking water has become a forgotten privilege among Americans, but Mari, now 13, has made it her mission to restore her community. When asked what her local and state officials were doing to solve the crisis, Mari exclaimed, well, they never did fix it. So I said, well, you have to listen to me because I'm a kid. Because Mari did not listen to the adults who discouraged her, over half a million dollars has been raised for water filters and school supplies for the children of Flint. Mari's tremendous contributions towards clean water for the citizens of Flint is one example of why children are the fuel for change in our communities. There are hundreds of thousands of kids across the U.S who are like Mari, who have been doubted and pushed away, who have been deemed too small to make a difference. Time and time again, society says that children are our future, the trailblazers of tomorrow. But how will kids learn to motivate change when all their lives they have been discouraged from raising their voices about issues deemed too mature? The grown-ups table is an invalid justification for the exclusion of the next generation. By barring kids and teens from holding discussions about inequalities in our society, we teach that it is acceptable to ignore other people's ideas without understanding where those ideas come from. A child's voice must be revered as one of the most powerful and innovative voices in our nation. Limiting their voice to the range of the kids' table fails democracy. Promoting acceptance of every thought, no matter how small, fosters courage and creativity in children, allowing them to bring their own folding chairs to the most challenging tables, including the grown-ups table. Thank you.